Hi guys, I'm Miranda and today I'm going to be showing you how I did this deep red, very intense, matte, smoky eye. Usually when I do red looks, they do have some shimmer, but this whole entire look is made with just matte eyeshadows, which is something I have never done, I don't think. I think I always use shimmer and stuff. But if you guys want to see how I did this eye look, then just go ahead and keep watching. Also, I'll have links to everything that I used down below. Alright guys, so first starting off, I'm going to be taking my original Naked palette. I'm going to be taking the color Naked, and I'm just going to put this in the crease beginning with a transition shade. Then reaching into my The Nubian palette by Juvia, I'm going to be taking the third shade on the top row and again just adding that to act furthermore as a transition. The smoky eyes. Blending is the number one thing you have to do and transition shades make that way easier So I highly recommend just adding maybe one or two colors just in the crease just to help blend out the Deeper shades otherwise it can be very hard to blend out and then harsh lines form And it's really hard to fix Then also from my naked palette. I'm going to take the shade buck which is just a darker matte brown and again just adding this to the crease and then here's where things get super duper fun and you have to add product then blend then add more color and blend that's what smoky eyes that's what smoky eyes are it's just a lot of putting on color, blending it out, then adding more because the pigmentation gets kind of taken away a little bit. But I'm going in to my Lime Crime Venus palette in the shade Muse, which is a very, very deep mm. shade. And you want to use a Ish. synthetic brush. Just anything that's very flat, compact, and as long as it's synthetic, just so you can really pack on that color on your lid. And you just want to press it. You don't want to swipe. Um, usually you will get some fallout, typically, but you just want to pack on that color. It's okay if it's messy, because you're going to be blending it crazy anyway. And then just going in to with a basic brush just go ahead and start blending your life away because it takes forever and that's why transition shades are so important because we're blending this deep color into those lighter browns and once you're done it just looks very seamless and then as you blend pigmentation does fade so it's all up to you um, how many times you want to go back in to color to add more. And I'm pretty much used to this um, with your main shade until you get where you want to be. Then if you want to add even more definition to the outer corner, which I personally like to do, staying with my Venus palette, I'm going to dip into the shade Icon, which is just a deep matte brown color. Then personally, I'm going to dip into an even darker brown just to help a gradient happen. J 
just focusing this on the outer corner. And then blend! However, now I'm going to move on to the lower lash line and first I am going to start off with Muse, which has already decided to fall to my lower lash line, which is helpful. I'm just taking a very small, precise brush to apply this because we don't want to go too heavy handed. And again, you just want to be very careful when applying deeper shades because fallout does happen. And then again, I'm going to dip into the color Icon, which is that deeper brown, just to help deepen this up. Then for inner corner highlight, uh, I am going to be using a shimmery shade for this, just to help open up the eye more. And from my Venus palette, I'm going to be using the shade Aura. And then for brow bone highlight, I'm just going to be taking a matte um, cream color. Then eyeliner, I had to do off camera because that I would not be able to do it on camera in a good angle to where you guys would be able to see it but next if I can find a pencil is mascara and I'm just going to take a black liner and just tight line my eyes I'm just going to also take this liner and line my waterline which I never do but for smoky stuff it really helps And then I am going to take a brush, usually a small one, to smoke that out. Then mascara. Um, I am going to curl my lashes first. Then it was. It is one hundred percent up to you if you guys want to add lashes or if not then you can leave the look how it is and then with lashes this is how it looks and the lashes I'm wearing are the Ardell Demi Wispies 